Battlefield Acne, Surviving the High School Years. Acne isn't just a few spots on your face. It's a full-blown battle that takes place on the skin, especially during those high school years that are already a roller coaster of emotions and changes. Imagine this. It's the morning of your high school prom, or maybe the day you have that all-important presentation. And there it is, a new, painful red spot right in the middle of your forehead. It feels like it's not just your skin that's inflamed, but your entire social life and self-esteem too. But here's the deal. Acne goes way beyond the physical. Sure, it starts with clogged pores, but it quickly morphs into this unwelcome guest that can crash your confidence and make social interactions feel like walking through a minefield. Remember those times when you felt like everyone's eyes were magnetically drawn, not to your smile, not to your eyes, but to the acne on your face? It's a tough gig, navigating the already choppy waters of high school social life with acne as your uninvited plus one. The thing is, the battle against acne during these years is not just about getting rid of the pimples, it's about understanding the skin you're in. It's a complex organ after all, influenced by hormones, diet, stress, and even the pillow you sleep on. It's easy to fall into the trap of blaming yourself, thinking if only you washed your face more, ate better, or somehow did something differently, acne wouldn't have chosen you. But here's a little secret. It's not your fault. Acne is a common skin condition, and while it's more prominent in our high school years, thanks to all those hormonal changes, it's something that many of us will face at some point. So as we navigate this battlefield, let's shift our focus from simply surviving to understanding and managing. It's about equipping ourselves with the right armor, knowledge about what acne really is, understanding the treatments available, and how lifestyle changes can play a role in managing it. And remember, while acne might seem like the biggest deal right now, it doesn't define you or your high school experience. You're much more than your skin, and this battle, like all others, will teach you resilience, empathy, and the importance of looking beyond the surface. As we dive deeper into this guide, we'll explore not just the surface level solutions, but also how to tackle acne from the inside out, understanding its triggers, and how to treat it effectively without losing sight of who you are beyond your skin. It's time to take control, not just for the sake of clear skin, but for the sake of your well-being and confidence during these formative years and beyond. Understanding acne more than skin deep. Acne, a word that often brings to mind images of red bumpy skin, is far more complex than what meets the eye. It's a multifaceted condition influenced by an interplay of biological, genetic, and lifestyle elements. To truly get a handle on acne, it's crucial to peel back the layers and understand what's happening beneath the surface of our skin. At its core, acne is an inflammatory condition of the hair follicle and sebaceous gland. When the pathway for sebum, the oil produced by our skin to keep it hydrated, becomes blocked, it creates an ideal environment for bacteria to thrive. This blockage can lead to the formation of blackheads, whiteheads, and other types of pimples. But what causes this blockage and inflammation in the first place? Hormones, especially androgens, play a significant role. They can cause sebaceous glands to overproduce sebum, leading to clogged pores. This hormonal fluctuation is why acne is particularly prevalent during puberty, but it can affect individuals at any stage in life. Genetics also play a pivotal role in acne development. If your parents had acne, you're more likely to have it too. This genetic predisposition affects how your skin responds to hormones and can influence your immune system's reaction to bacteria associated with acne. Lifestyle factors contribute to the acne puzzle as well. While the myth that chocolate and greasy foods cause acne has been largely debunked, diet does have an impact. High glycemic foods can cause spikes in blood sugar and may exacerbate acne for some people. Stress, too, influences acne. It doesn't directly cause pimples, but it can increase the production of hormones that make acne worse. Understanding acne requires a holistic view, acknowledging the biological processes at work and how they're affected by our genetics and the choices we make. By comprehensively addressing these factors, we can develop more effective strategies for managing acne and promoting healthier skin. So, 
Next time you look in the mirror and see a pimple, remember, it's not just about what's on the surface. It's a complex condition with deep-rooted causes, but with the right knowledge and care, it's one we can tackle head on. Beyond the surface, emotional echoes of acne. Imagine for a moment that each morning as you wake up, the first thing you do is rush to the mirror, hoping against hope that your skin has magically cleared up overnight. But instead, you're greeted by new spots, each telling its own story of discomfort and dismay. This isn't just about skin deep. It's a journey through the emotional labyrinth that acne weaves around many of us, touching upon the social stigma that amplifies the distress far beyond the physical aspects. Acne, a ubiquitous yet intensely personal battle, carries with it not just physical scars, but emotional ones. These scars often run deeper, fed by societal perceptions and influenced by endless streams of flawless images on social media, creating an ideal that feels painfully out of reach. The sting of acne is not merely the discomfort of the blemishes themselves, but the isolation and self-consciousness they foster. It's the sinking feeling when someone's eyes linger on your skin just a moment too long, or the backhanded compliments that feel more like veiled criticisms. But here's the thing. The narrative around acne and the scars it leaves is slowly changing. Personal stories are being shared, not just as tales of struggle, but as journeys of acceptance and resilience. These stories highlight the importance of empathy, underscoring the fact that everyone's skin journey is unique and that the path to self-acceptance is not a linear one. It's a mosaic of experiences that teach us empathy, resilience, and the strength to challenge societal norms. Breaking down the stereotypes linked to acne begins with conversations, open, honest dialogues that elevate understanding over judgment. It's about recognizing that acne doesn't define your worth or your beauty. In dismantling these stereotypes, we foster a community that celebrates diversity in all its forms, including the skin we're in. This battle against acne and the stigma surrounding it is not fought in isolation. It's a collective effort, one that requires us to lean on and learn from each other, sharing strategies, successes, and setbacks. In essence, the journey through acne, with all its ups and downs, teaches us about the power of empathy and the beauty of embracing ourselves as we are. It's a reminder that true acceptance comes from within and that breaking free from the societal stigma attached to acne starts with us. As we navigate this journey, let's hold on to the notion that our imperfections don't diminish our worth. They contribute to the unique beauty of our stories. Modern acne treatments, navigating the options, Diving straight into the heart of acne management, the landscape of treatments available today is vast and varied, catering to the myriad forms and severities of acne. Understanding these options is crucial in tailoring a treatment plan that's both effective and suitable for your skin type and lifestyle. Starting with over-the-counter OTC products, these are often the first line of defense against acne. They're readily available, affordable, and can be quite effective for mild to moderate acne. The most common active ingredients you'll encounter include benzoyl peroxide, which kills bacteria and reduces inflammation, and salicylic acid that helps unclog pores. While these can be game changers for some, they might only scratch the surface for others. It's also worth noting that they can cause dryness and irritation, so it's important to follow the instructions carefully and maybe start with lower concentrations. Moving up a notch, prescription medications come into play when OTC products don't cut it. These could be topical treatments like retinoids, which speed up cell turnover to prevent clogging of hair follicles, or antibiotics that target the bacteria contributing to acne. There are also oral medications, such as hormonal pills for those whose acne is largely hormone-driven, and isotretinoin, a powerful option for severe cystic acne. While these can be highly effective, they also come with a list of potential side effects. For instance, isotretinoin requires strict monitoring due to its risk of severe side effects, including birth defects if taken during pregnancy. For those looking for more immediate results or suffering from severe acne, advanced dermatological procedures might be the answer. These include chemical peels, where a chemical solution is applied to the skin 
to remove the top layers and reveal smoother, clearer skin underneath. There's also laser therapy, which can reduce the bacteria and inflammation, and microdermabrasion, a method of exfoliation that can improve skin texture and appearance. While these procedures can offer more dramatic results, they often come with a higher price tag and require downtime for recovery. Navigating the sea of acne treatments can feel overwhelming, but the key is to start simple, be patient, and consult with a dermatologist. They can help you understand your skin's unique needs and guide you through the options, ensuring you find the most effective and sustainable path to clear skin. Remember, what works for one person might not work for another, and it's all about finding the right balance for you. Lifestyle changes and home remedies. Tackling acne isn't just about what you put on your skin, it's also about what you put into your body and how you live your life. Let's dive into some lifestyle adjustments and home remedies that can make a significant difference in managing acne. First up, diet. It's no secret that what you eat affects your skin. Foods high in sugar and dairy have been linked to acne for some folks. It's not about cutting these out entirely, but moderation is key. Try incorporating foods rich in omega-3 fatty acids like salmon and walnuts and load up on antioxidants from berries, nuts, and green tea. These can help calm inflammation and improve your skin's defense against acne. Hydration plays a massive role too. Drinking plenty of water helps to flush out toxins from your body and keep your skin hydrated and less prone to dryness and peeling. Now let's talk hygiene. It's crucial, but there's a fine line between keeping your skin clean and overwashing. Overwashing can strip your skin of its natural oils leading to more breakouts. Aim to wash your face twice a day with a gentle cleanser and after sweating, and please resist the urge to pick or pop pimples. It can lead to scarring. Pillowcases and phone screens can be sneaky culprits in harboring bacteria. Make sure to change your pillowcases weekly and regularly clean your phone screen. Natural remedies have their place in your acne-fighting arsenal too. Tea tree oil, for example, has antimicrobial properties and can be a potent spot treatment when diluted. Aloe vera is excellent for soothing and reducing inflammation. Just remember, natural doesn't always mean better for everyone, so listen to your skin's reaction. Stress management is another critical piece of the puzzle. High stress levels can trigger your body to produce more oil-stimulating hormones. Find stress-reducing activities that work for you, whether it's yoga, meditation, or just taking a walk. Lastly, environmental factors like pollution and humidity can affect your skin. Whenever possible, protect your skin with non-comedogenic products and stay hydrated. Making these lifestyle changes and incorporating home remedies isn't an overnight solution, but with persistence, you'll likely see improvements in your skin. Remember, the goal is a balanced lifestyle that supports your overall health, including your skin. The future of acne treatment. As we navigate through the journey of understanding and combating acne, it's impossible not to feel a surge of excitement about what the future holds. The landscape of acne treatment is on the cusp of revolutionary change with innovations and research paving the way for groundbreaking therapies that promise more effective, personalized, and less invasive solutions. Imagine a world where acne can be addressed, not just on the surface, but by targeting its very genetic roots, minimizing the guesswork and frustration that often accompany current treatment methodologies. One of the most promising frontiers in dermatology is the realm of genetic therapies. Scientists are delving deep into our DNA to understand the genetic factors that predispose some of us to severe acne. By identifying specific genes responsible for inflammation and sebum production, researchers are developing targeted therapies that can modify these genetic expressions, effectively turning off the triggers of acne at their source. This precision medicine approach could transform acne treatment from a one-size-fits-all model to a tailor-made solution offering hope to those for whom traditional treatments have fallen short. Parallel to genetic discoveries, the evolution of new medication formulations is underway. These innovations aim to enhance the efficacy of exist existing acne medications while reducing their side effects. 
Imagine topical treatments that are not only more potent against acne-causing bacteria, but also imbued with properties that prevent the irritation and dryness often associated with acne medications. Or consider oral medications that target hormonal imbalances with pinpoint accuracy, minimizing systemic side effects. Moreover, the future shines brightly with the advancement of non-invasive techniques. High-tech solutions like photodynamic therapy and laser treatments are being refined to target acne more effectively and with fewer sessions. These technologies work by either killing the acne-causing bacteria, reducing oil production, or both, without the need for incisions or traditional surgery. The beauty of these approaches lies in their ability to offer not just clearer skin, but also a significant reduction in the scarring that acne can leave behind, all while promoting the skin's natural healing process. As we stand on the brink of these exciting developments, it's clear that the future of acne treatment is bright with promise. The ongoing research and innovations in dermatology are poised to offer more personalized, effective, and less invasive acne solutions, transforming the way we understand and treat this common but complex skin condition. As we look forward to these advancements, there's a palpable sense of hope for anyone who's ever felt the burden of acne. The future, it seems, is not just clear-skinned, but bright. Empowerment through education, taking control of your acne. Taking control of your acne starts with a solid foundation of knowledge. Understanding the mechanisms behind acne, the triggers, and how various treatments work empowers you to make informed decisions about your skin health. It's about arming yourself with the right tools and information to navigate this journey confidently. Self-care is an integral part of managing acne. It's not just about the external treatments you apply, but also how you nurture your body from the inside. A balanced diet, adequate hydration, stress management, and regular exercise can significantly impact your skin's health. Remember, self-care is not selfish, it's essential. Seeking professional guidance is also crucial. Dermatologists and skincare professionals can offer insights and treatment options tailored to your specific needs. Don't hesitate to ask questions and express your concerns during these consultations. Being proactive in your treatment plan fosters a sense of control and partnership in your journey towards clearer skin. Advocating for yourself is key. If a treatment isn't working or if you're experiencing side effects, speak up. Your journey to clear skin is unique and what works for one person may not work for you. It's okay to seek a second opinion or to explore alternative treatments. Finding support, whether through friends, family, or online communities, can provide comfort and encouragement. Sharing experiences and tips with others who understand what you're going through can be incredibly validating and uplifting. Lastly, embracing a journey of healing and acceptance is vital. Acne, like any other journey, has its ups and downs. There will be good skin days and challenging ones. Learning to accept and love yourself, regardless of your skin's condition, builds resilience and inner strength. Your worth is not defined by your skin. In the battle against acne, remember that you're not alone. Through education, self-care, and the support of professionals and loved ones, you can navigate this journey with confidence and grace. Here's to taking control of your acne, embracing your journey, and celebrating every step towards healing and self-acceptance.